So let's get into this first match and see who we got. Hungry Kim versus Besh. I want to say Besh made it further last week in the bracket than Hungry Kim. Not 100% certain about that, but we'll see how they, how both players end up doing today. All right, we got Vasaraga versus Fairy. So on paper, this would probably be regarded as in Fairy's favor. Fairy, one of the stronger characters in the game. I think a lot of people would agree with that. Vasaraga was a little bit of a sleeper hit, although now that people are getting more used to Vasaraga, kind of we're falling off a little bit in stock. But Vasaraga, still very strong. Recently got a fair amount of buffs too in the most recent patch. So let's get down to it. Skipping the character intros, let's go. All right, nice spot dodge out the gate there. Make sure to just avoid that whip. A lot of pokes here, shoulder charge in. There's one of those buffs there with Vasaraga, that faster armor. Stomp, stomp in. Loses the armor charge. The armor charge has an indicator on it just below the health bar if you are unfamiliar with this. DP just thrown out there. Seemed a little unnecessary. Getting, keeping GG out. Ooh, gets snagged with the whip into the sweep. Pull down. Nice, keeps it safe, pushes out with the whip swing there. GG's out once more, goes for that sweep. That sweep from Fairy 2 has such fast recovery. I believe it's minus tw or only 12 frames of recovery, which is phenomenally quick compared to a lot of other buttons in this game. Ooh, stomps in, the armor gets clipped, still is able to walk right through. Clips her again, same thing, just using that far-reaching low extension off of the stance. All right, gets pushed back out here, but this is okay. Fossil Rock has got a little bit of a life lead, doesn't have to struggle too far to get in. Oh, only clips it with the armor. That's right. Vasaraga's armor will block number of hits. Does not matter what kind of hits they are. Unless your super does multiple hits, it's just going to march on through. All right. On to the next game here. We got Vasaraga up around. Getting poked at here by the fairy. Shoulder charge at knocks her off. Stomping in. Use that fireball, keep it safe. Keeps that armor up. Going for the march back in again. It's nice simple string from Fairy. Pushes Vasaraga out. GG comes out, but not not a true GG setup. Vasaraga walks right through, catches with the command grab. Not the fastest command grab in the world, but you don't you just use it at the right moments when they're not expecting it. You can scoop them just the same. Big life lead on Vasaraga. Catches the clash. Still had the armor frame after the clash. Closes out the round. This Hungry Kim sitting on a game lead. See what happens. A lot of patience from Hungry Kim here. Doesn't really need to change the game plan much. Besh has not been able to get much work going here against Hungry Kim, so not... The pressure's on the fairy player here, not on Vasaraga. And Kim stomps in. GG's out, gets caught, gets caught with low. Ooh, pushing the corner, gets the wall bounce into an extension, gets yoinked with the whip. There goes GG. Nice, catches with the overhead. Ooh, and then into the low. Get the combo. Let's see if Besh can take a round here. Think it's gonna happen. Doesn't have a special there. Ah, catch it with the low. All right, it's a round of peace in game two. All right, looks like we're gonna restart the stream after this match here, but we'll keep it going for now. Armor frames up on Vasaraga again. Keep it up with that fireball pressure. Even using the fireball catches out your armor, not just the shoulder charge. Just depends on what strength of special you do. However, your shortcut specials don't cash out your armor, so that's kind of useful. Goes for the low there out of the stance. Just resets the pressure, backs off a little bit, sacrificing the space. Catches with the low again. Vasaraga back to the corner here. Not the worst circumstances. Ooh. Substantial life lead on Vasaraga's side now. There's the command grab. Ooh, you felt it coming on that one. One more mix here, probably going to be the finish. That's within throw kill range as well. So this gets all the scarier. Shoulder charge in, closes it out. So as said, I think we are going to restart the stream here.